Welcome back to Mur. Today we will be playing some more CK3, continuing off from our adventures of the last episode. Adventures which I no longer remember. Surprise, surprise, because I do stream this intermittently. There seems to be a gap of four days usually between streams, which leaves me questioning every time I enter back in this. If I remember correctly, last episode we had an unfortunate accident with our king, where I believed died a tragic death, leading our niece or nephew to inherit the throne and I believe she's underaged as in like 13, 14 so she can't marry and can't leave and she has a regent so we'll have to live out this tumultuous time and we'll also have to reclaim these two territories up here and here that have for some reason decided to leave our empire which is quite frankly completely unforgivable. Who would not want to live in such a wonderful Norse Taoist nation? Look at this, the faith of Myrrh is spreading throughout the lands. It may not be the most powerful faith you can build, but it's certainly the faith I want to build. Because if I was to make a faith, it would probably be something around this. Nice laws, we can like, you know, monks meditating and nature, They're all cool things. Um, there's probably some stuff I'd still edit if I get some more piety, but mainly I was just caring about these three things and getting, making it so it's fundamentalist, because I think that helps with conversion, and so we can have lay killer juice, so we can basically, anybody can own the temple holdings and we can kick people off whenever we want on our council, because I don't like people having council for life, because they can, their opinions can change of you, and they could backstab you in an instant. He can still backstab you if he's not on the, I cannot speak. They can still backstab you if they're not in their council, but it certainly makes it more difficult. Difficile, as you would say in Spanish. First thing, we shall check. We're almost at full military strength, which is good. Very good. And we are feudal. If I remember, we converted to feudalism, which is also very good. And, uh, and, we, and we do have war elephants, which is nice. Apparently our faith, it may or may not have been through the use of console commands, has spread apparently to India, but it hasn't actually. It's just I, I kind of wanted to get the culture, the cultures, so we could become feudal. Didn't fancy waiting too long. But that's the only thing I have scummed, and the religion, possibly. <clears throat> anyway, moving back. It was all in the, in the attempt to make it a more interesting campaign, or, or a feudal the Norse, no longer really Viking nation. We shall have a look. They're certainly inferior, but I don't believe we can declare war, apparently. They do have an ally, but they are inferior. And they have another ally here. Is this our territory? Wow. Can't really remember. We had some kind of war. We were fighting Estonia or some people down here and we got stuff. Schmalland, they are weak. So if we can. Eh, early war doesn't help. Seize du jour would be nice. And although they are inferior, they do have this person and this person coming to aid them. So we can have a look at Finland. Finland are strong, but if they have no allies, we could deal with them. Um. Ooh. I'd much rather do it. Oh, look at that holy war for a kingdom. We can gain all that. Downside of it is there only one nation. There are other nations of that faith who would come and decide to destroy us, obliterate us, send us back into the Dark Ages, which we have actually passed out the Dark Ages, which are which is good, but only just. Hmm, it's no bueno. Uh, they have two allies. Oh yeah, that's how you filter. Look at this, you can flip the map around. I was trying to figure it out to show you guys last time. Look how sexy this is. We can look at Europe upside down. I do have my tea here as well. Um, we could go further into Estonia. That is always an option. Because it is just Estonia. I believe. Oh, that's a single province mine. No, that is Estonia. Um... I'm I'm completely fine ganging up against Estonia, except it's a holy war against Christendom. 
which is not something I particularly fancy entering. I swear half of this series is just me clicking on people and seeing who's a valid war target. My last chance, please Jarl Bjorn Kunsen, whatever your name is. Be good. <sighs> You're allied to Upland. Let's just wait a bit. We can find waiting for our, our troops to replenish a wee bit more. You're 12, yes. Certainly not an ideal ruler. But for some reason, you have votes into power. Hmm. They're going up. War declared. Rally the troops. Um, pause, please. Who's declaring war? Finland? We should have declared the offensive war and then we would at least be benefiting from stuff. Now we're just going to be throwing men in a defensive conflict in which we can gain nothing but a contested title. Hmm. I could scum it, load back, and then declare an offensive war. And see if we can win that. That might be... Hindsight is twenty twenty, as they say. That's where we were last time. I was leading on autoplay to see how, how my nation would hand by itself after we finished last round. But we have a viewer, welcome to the stream. So we will clear this off and tempt a war here. That could go horribly wrong. We're doing a holy war for a kingdom. We do not have enough piety. We do a holy war for a county. Um, But that's not really as interesting. Holy war. Summon blah blah. People of this faith may join the war. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Option one. We fight the defensive conflict in which no other nations will come to the aid of this chunky boy. We can fairly easily win that. Or we can fight an offensive war, which we will win. However... If other nations decide to join, which they very well might, because um, it would be a holy war. I guess we can do the siege, siege de jour claim. Yeah. Why not? This counts as the... Yeah, it's part of the kingdom anyway, so we would have got it, but... That's fine. Let's go. Raise all. Bring this in, and we're going up to siege here. Please get that ticking war score early on. Always smart. And we do have elite quality, which is nice. And are all of these guys raised all armies? Why isn't it? When I click raise all, it should be right raising my retinues as well. I'd rather silly if it doesn't. Okay. Let's go. 4,000 men about to die through heavy attrition. Oh, I'm an idiot. I was messing around afterwards and I must have saved afterwards. I'm not meant to have that much money. You, you may have noticed that before me. I can't even remember what I was doing. I should have loaded an earlier save, but I'm, I'm a stupider. Um, I'll, I'll edit that after stream and I just won't dip into my gold reserves. I'll buy no mercs, so it, it's not as scummy. And I'll reduce my money down. Come on in. Ready when you are. I'll be half an hour and then half I can an hour? pop in. Okay. See you in a bit. Zap to Voz, my mate. We are going to watch a TV program in a wee bit. Hmm? Really? They're going to go on an offensive conflict? And how how they have so many? They're, they're definitely buying mercs. Where are the rest of my troops? Said I had 4,000, but now I have 2,000. Raise all armies. Mon, Mon, turn the stereo on. Let's come on. Na, na, na. We're gonna lose this conflict. We will lose this conflict. Unless I actually do buy some mercs. I would have had enough money to buy one merc, I believe, last round. So I was saving up for stuff. That's for the physician. 
Hmm. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll just load back in another game. Maybe it was this one. I think this was after us playing on auto, so I don't know how it's going to be like. Stuff might have changed. But we'll see. We will see. Hopefully I don't have absurd amounts of gold in this one. Okay. That seems more reasonable. So we'll continue from this and see what we actually have as issues coming up. So far, this stream has been a bit of a mess. You could call it a cluster truck. Primary heir of the wrong dynasty. Not betrothed. Mercenary contract. Well, apparently we already have mercs. The AI have decided to buy expensive mercs. Uh, but nothing else appears to be different except we're missing these territories instead of these ones. Got lots of wars. Active elections. Apparently voting for our aunt. That's all good. Okay, I'm fine with that. We obviously could still think about the war up here. But they are fairly strong. Um, these guys appear to have split up, which is good. And they do have an ally, but it's not as bad. So we can definitely take on Smyrland. We could certainly take on... No, we couldn't. We have no war goals against them. Neither them. That's a new leader in Upland. Hmm. They're vastly inferior forces, because apparently maybe they just fought a war before. So we have the potential to take back this territory, which was ours a while ago. Hmm. That could be a, a nice little snag. Because, yes. Levies. I don't know what's happening with them. How many levies do these guys have? 800? I believe Upland is a prime target right now, because they're usually quite strong. Um, and they're going to be pulling in them anyway. So yeah, we'll go for Upland. Hopefully this conflict goes well. Seize, declare war, raise all armies, military, mercs. These are raised, right? No, we're not extending them. We don't even have the money to extend them. And everything else seems good. I don't know what, if we want to siege down our war gold territory or their capital first. It's honestly perplexing. I think they're in a war with uh, another foe, which is why their resources have been depleted significantly. Poor position. Hmm. You are actually a banging surgeon. You've got level three. It's only 16, which isn't phenomenal. And you're an elusive shadow, which is not something I necessarily want in my midst. But I'll pay you for now. And uh, can you please split in half and give me... Okay, just one of the halves. You. You shall move further up and siege settlement there. Oh, you can go straight there, but I don't want you to be too far away from reinforcements. I guess we can move, you can move straight down here. And looking at their forces before, unless they had some mercs, we should vastly outnumber them. Dun, 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 dun. Wow, Bavaria is thick. Hello, thick boy. And I think these guys are split in two. These guys were like that before. I think the Vikings, how are they doing? Vikings are doing okay in England, but not also not doing phenomenally. These guys have converted back, so yeah, they're not doing very well, because these guys used to be a Viking nation. Uh, those folks still are, but they're a heretic Viking nation. 
So yeah, I wouldn't. I would say things are falling apart in the UK for our Norse brethren, which is unfortunate. Because although they do not share the same faith, they do share the same culture. Get this territory, and then one of these are finished, we can move on out up there. We have received 1% attrition. Uh, what? Oh, I see, Merc's just left. I thought for a second we suddenly suffered a thousand attrition, and I was like, you what? Oof. I didn't realize how many troops of ours were actually made up of Mercs. I guess it kind of makes sense. Uh, levies. Why are our levies so low? Goodness gracious. I think I may have underestimated our foes here. I don't even have enough soldiers to continue this siege. Okay, we'll move up here. And then we'll move straight to the capital then. Hmm. Finally. We are of age. And when we're of age, we can marry. So, who is the best husband? Someone who has good traits. I don't really care about anything else. Since you won't be ruling. You're telling me not a single husband has beneficial traits. Fine, just send me someone who's young then. I'm gonna be marrying a 60 year old. What am I, 16? Yeah. Relevant uh, age. Zero is a bit young, on the other hand. 17, how are you? Hunchback? Nope. Arrogant, lustful, shy. Eh. Beautiful. Oh, you have a bodice to trade. Cool. I'll pick you. Nicholas, you're in luck because you are my new husband. You are a beautiful boy. And since we're strong, we'll hopefully have strong and beautiful... Oh, and athletic. You're ill. What? Why? <laughs> you won't tell me you were ill. You are a good soldier, though. Brilliant strategist. You're better than me. Um, so, please get better. We do have a... Nurse lady. We need to wait for a bit before we can up our crown authority. Meditate in seclusion, call a hunt, host a feast. I'll, I'll leave that for now. I don't believe our stress is particularly bad, and we are in the middle of a war. A war. <sighs> Phenomenal. What do you want? Holy war for Dublin. Well, it's not going to affect us. Yes, it is going to affect us because they're trying to take out Dublin. I'm not too bothered about relinquishing my claim in Ireland. It is far away. My apologies, any Irish viewers. Oh, goodness gracious. Why are our troops so low quality? What on earth has the A die done in my mission? In my short three-year departure where I let them run the country. Obviously nothing good. Because the country is a mess. <sighs> Where's this war for? Schmorland. Nominal. I'm going to have to desiege this. Tempted now to peace out on the other one and then defend my territory. Hmm. Don't need a gold. I'd rather you convert to my faith. 
I go... Prisoners. I shall negotiate your release if you convert. Marvellous. Okay, just go straight in there. I don't have time to wait. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, yes. They chickened out at the last minute. But gained. Okay, we'll go there then. And you can follow in here. I'd rather wait until we get some of our elite soldiers to assist in this conflict. What on earth is this? I'll tell you what, it's not very nice whatever's happening. We've all been like, ah, he's come of age. Or she's come of age. Let, let's all give her a birthday surprise and attack her. Okay, we can wipe these geezers out. We're getting ticking war score for conquered our desired territory. Now we're going to move south and clear out this war. Now, what do you want? What? Why? Why? Why do we have a territory in Spain? Okay, I'm not too bothered. I'll just leave that. I, I don't. I don't remember having that territory. I think that's the AI is doing in, in my wake. In my absence. In my wake. I'm really a mess today. I spilt tea on my face. Okay, you sir, go down and siege this, and then you're gonna have to. Um. Yeah, peace out in this conflict. It's, I think it's salvageable. If we can defeat this, we'll lose territory in Spain and we'll lose territory in Dublin. But on the flip side, we will gain a territory in Upland. And it's close to home. Although it's nice having far away, far away countries or Marshall. Why are we always Marshall? I want to try a different, a different lifestyle. But, since you're a soldier already, I'll, I'll stick with your original lifestyle so we get the bonuses to it. Um, they're probably going to siege down a territory and be absolute numpties because they want to be irritating. Um, we have two options. We could either follow them and try to siege them out. Hmm. Well, I appreciate the assistance. I think we're going to go straight and battle them, then split in two and siege down both their territories. From there, we should be able to piece them out and then focus on the war in Upland, clear them out. And then my next thing I care about would be Dublin, because that's closer to than Spain. And it gives us a launching ground into Britannia. And going into the Iberian Peninsula is a bit much for me right now. Too far. And since the Vikings traditionally invaded the UK, it makes why it uh, makes sense story-wise. I think they're gonna just win anyway. Oh, I can hop in. Thanks, lads. Appreciate it. Now, um, split there. Listen two, and I'll have these nine hundred siege this. And these 900 seeds there. Oh, this is going marvelously. Uh, let me guess. That's the Dublin one? Yep. Uh, we could wait. I think it might automatically piece us out, and I'll just have to live with that, which would be unfortunate. Uh, I'm certainly just going to buy my time and let them siege this down. Um, I don't think there's much I can do. They're a whole... We're being attacked by the smaller nation, I guess. So militarily, it will be stronger than them. But logistically speaking, it wouldn't be feasible. In this game, sure, it's feasible. It's just too much of an effort for a small territory that brings nothing back to the motherland. So strategically, 
it wouldn't be worth the effort. In this game, it's just sending some troops down. So it could be worth it if... If... I can deal with Dublin in time and... Why yada yada yada, whatnot, so on and so forth. These guys better not be nonce and just attack me right here. I'm watching you scumbags. Criminal scum. These guys are just waiting there. I don't see why they don't desiege their territory. Where was this for? That was for that one. Where was this one for? That was that one. And that one's our offensive war, and that one's another defensive war. This is certainly known as a tumultuous period that would test the new queen's reign. Fortunately, if she does well, it would strengthen her claim on the throne. And so far, it looks like we are doing swimmingly. That's a bit of an overstatement. We are not losing terribly. We have enough to siege both of them. Phenomenal! Four months left. Let's just blitz through this and we will keep an eye on current developments. Why are we on one speed? That's why everything's taking so long. Pregnancy. Our child is growing in my womb. My husband, King Nicholas, will be proud. Good. Hopefully you give me a strong, beautiful baby. Quick would also be beneficial. He may still have like a bit recessive. I don't really know how it treats all them in CK3. And these should both be sieged down by the time they siege that. So we're fine in that regards as well. And we should be able to piece them out. If not, we'll have to attack them, which will be a minor inconvenience. That is a major inconvenience. Um, that goes straight in, but that's a river crossing, so I'd rather meet here. Oh, cool, we can enforce demands already. Keep the contested title. So be it. Pause. Nope, not pause. I meant pa it's meant to be pausing. Um. Now we're in conflict with here, so I'd rather deal with this war next, and then from then deal with that war, and this war. So in the order of declared, we shall deal with these invaders. Actually, we're the invaders in this case, in this war. So, hippity hoppity, get off my property! This will be a quick stream. I'll give 15 more minutes. What are these geezers doing? What, what conflict are they in? Northumbria. You dare bring your men down here. How many men am I against in this conflict? Because it may just not be worth it. It's only one nation. Uh, they haven't allies, so... We will be able to win that conflict. It's just a matter of, I don't really want them sieging my territory and being a nuisance. Is it better peace out now? Is my thinking, at least. Hmm. Only time will tell. These guys better not siege us down. I will be incredibly annoyed. You lucky buggers. I swear it had longer than that on the countdown. Truth or fulfilled. Brilliant. Okay, we need to... We're being raided for another five months. My son, is he useful? He's beautiful, so I'll give that useful. You're a good son. Proud of you. Proud of you being born the right way. Doesn't matter what you do in life as long as you have good genes. Should help my dynasty be strong. They have the hill advantage. Ah, oh, they were hiding other troops. Come on, win this out so we get the defensive advantage for next. Ah, oh, you filth. We're still going to win, but we're certainly taking more casualties than I would like. Just standing there. Ongoing raid. Well, you're welcome to raid it all you want. Because I may not even get to keep Dublin. And they're going to be sieging my capital, which is even more irritating. Hmm. To continue or not continue, that is the question. 
I guess I can save and see. Although, we could win them all. Maybe not all, because I might time out. If I can quickly finish this, this guy off, it would be good. But they're getting positive war score now, so hurry up and, and finish this. Fine, just... Hmm. Really are oh, annoying sods. Tell you that. Advise mercenaries. We do not need mercenaries. Certainly not good for our stability. Having our capital siege. Okay, this is dealt with. We'll deal with these geezers. And we'll desiege this. And they'll retreat back to their territory. Fine. We should have just pieced out earlier, I guess, then. Hopefully we can keep territories in Spain. I don't really like that automatic admittance of defeat. We were not in a losing position then. Maybe we were. Uh... Raiders. They are raiders. Where are you? The raiders from all the way in the UK. Well, as long as you don't mess with me, I won't mess with you. You're from Uplan, though. Uh, I would certainly appreciate sieging down your capital. But I think I'm going to head that way. 59 is good. I think we're just, we'll, we'll be able to salvage... Alba, I'm annoyed at you. We'll be able to salvage our Spanish province for whatever that matters. But Dublin is a no-go because Northumbria just had to stage an offensive. Who are these geezers? What? Okay. There's someone under me doing some kind of contested claims. And we're just wrecking people over mountains. Fine. An extra hand! For all the authority I supposedly wield as a queen, I cannot be everywhere in the realm at once. There will always be those who forget to obey my orders once my attention is turned elsewhere. This is where the court physician, Jaldo, could come in. She's been faithfully enforcing my decrees in court. Could she serve as a right-hand woman and take more active role in administration? Mm. Sure. I don't really care. Victory, victory, victory. Advice. And stand. Be quiet. I don't want to listen to you. I don't need any advice. I am a pro at this game, dedicating millions of hours into the attempt of protection. Okay, we're having lots of kids apparently, which is nice. Can I get concubines actually? Um, you. Secondary spouse. Do we have any other spouses with positive genetic traditions? Your bleeder. As in hemophiliac? Because hemophilia is not good. And certainly runs in royal lines. Lunatic is certainly not good. Frail is not good. So all the good traits have been bred out of the Murph faith. You can't allow me to do my eugenics program with such a terrible flock of people to choose from. Jeez Louise. Um, well, I guess I'm one woman, so extra men don't actually mean extra children. So yeah, it doesn't really matter if we have concubines the other way around because you only have one womb who is sieging me down now sultanate fine just get lost I surrender take your stupid province be gone mm, I could have hired mercs I guess I'm hemorrhaging money at the moment in this war Marshall perk available. Let's go with this. 
strategist. I liked this route last time, so I'll continue to go down it. Valuable hostage captured, and we shall enforce demands. Okay. Um, I, I consider that an okay trade. Somehow, we've got these territories back. I don't really know what was happening there. We've lost our footholds in both Iberia and Ireland, but as a whole, we are stronger off. We can expand our troops, start making some gold back. We can go to our court. Prisoners. Oh, it's like that he's in the kitchen for me. You're not funny. Thank you. <laughs> go to the kitchen yourself. You and... Benjamin Biggles. I've got a weak hook over a child. Phenomenal. That's going to be so helpful. Mm -hmm. Man conversion. Recruit. Okay. We'll just recruit. And demand conversion. Gain a hook. What else can we do? You can change Yarl's contract. I'm fine at the moment. You create a duchy of Visby. What's it do? I guess we're gaining prestige, but we do have a lot of prestige and lacking money, so I don't know if that's a wise decision. But it has something else we can grant to another person to improve their opinion. Prisoners can be ransomed. We did that first in mind. Declared wars. And I think that about wraps this up. We can... I'll, I'll play to the end of the... Okay, yep. Yeah. Solid. I'll play to the end of... I will now play to the end of the month. And we can see that we are well, we're earning neutral money. So we're obviously having a money issue. But that's to sort in the next episode. So thank you very much for stopping off today. It has been a pleasure. 